Yes. How can we how can we influence other people? Mm. This is a delightful question. The answer is you cannot influence them unless they are receptive to be influenced. However, you can live your life to the highest degree of beauty that you can bring to it and be a living role model that some will be attracted to to ask you how do you do this how may we do it of course depending upon your life path and your temperament there are good deeds one may do the most important thing you can do is own your maturity so that your light may shine How would it be if Mahatma Gandhi said, oh, shucks, I'm not all that. No one cares what I think. I am no one special. There would have been a great loss upon your planet. To own yourself does not mean you must change yourself. It means you possess yourself with pride for whom you are you support yourself you are your own best cheerleader when you are in alliance with yourself healing opportunities present themselves it may be you feel inclined for charitable efforts it may be you feel inclined to work with mandalas. It may be you feel inclined to join with other holy groups and lend your energy to their efforts. There are many things you can do. However, the best inspiration comes from purity, and purity comes from acknowledging who you are. Be one with yourself. Release the shame of being mature. We know among you there are many who hold yourselves back for fear of being perceived as arrogant or for making others uncomfortable or fear that embracing the purity of your truth will cause you to go on the wrong path and you will then not see your mission. This sounds a little crazy, but you know some of you think this. So we tell you, those who are very immature souls have no interest in hearing the words we share. Those who are immature souls are not higher-minded, multi-dimensionally inclined. They are not there any more than a small child would be interested in advanced calculus. They are not. But you are. You are, but many of you fear that if you claim yourselves, you will not be pure. What can be more pure than to claim yourself? Imagine a concert pianist who has practiced 
many hours from any many days and many years, many decades. This is a magnificent pianist playing beautifully. But this person says, oh, no, no, no. I do not wish to be arrogant and perform upon a stage. I might, you know, be, what will people think of me? Hmm. Then the world misses out. But you may think, but in this life, I have not practiced so much. No, you must connect with your other lives and see the many stratified layers of effort your soul has put into evolving to the point where you were a possibility to be created. You are the top tier of the cake. The magnificent cake. Beautiful decorations. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, we think our spark is hungry. <laughs> She's holding that thought of cake. <laughs> But it is true, it is true, you must embrace your magnificence without embarrassment, without feeling as though you are doing, doing something naughty. Hmm. When you are in alignment with yourself and you open your heart, then your path reveals itself with greater ease and you are magnetically attractive to anything of this frequency. This is how you may inspire others and help your planet. Does this answer your question, young one? Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. You will be surprised for many times what reveals itself to you is what has been your secret wish all along, but you did not think that it would be appropriate for you to be so magnificent. This is why there are so few grand human healers and teachers for truly the best of the best remain too humble and they keep quiet. It is unfortunate. Mm. 